and the Justice Court. The plaintiff, Stephen Loshimbe, is asking the court to compel Halima to return the car he bought from her on higher purchase. All rise. Court in session. Honorable Judge Fumi Asaolu presiding. Please be seated. Your Honor, this case is between Stephen Lochimba and Momo Alima. Parties one. Thank you, Aki. You're welcome, Your Honor. Stephen Lochimba. You are the one that brought the defendant, Momo Alima. Yes, Your Honor. Alima. Yes, ma'am. I learned to, you are not feeling too fine and you love to have a seat. Yes, Your Honor. You can have your seat. Thank you, Your Honor. Okay. So, let me know why you are here. Good afternoon, Your Honor. Your claim that you submitted, you stated that you have, there's an agreement. Sure. Let me see the copy of the agreement while you are now receiving it. So go ahead. Thank you. I meet her February 2020. Uh, how we met, we meet around K2. She was driving the same car while she hit me at the back while I was driving mine. So from there, I kind of like told her that the damage, she damaged at the back bomber. She meant to repair it. Who she? I agreed that I should come to her area in the Kurodu where her mechanic can fix it for me because I was on the trip with the rider. That's the passenger. So uh, after three days, I went there in Panabita, now fix it at the sum of 3,000 area. So from there, we got talking. But while talking, she told me that she also would like to invest in the Uber business which I take time to explain everything to her in and out of the business, how the remitter works and how the higher purchase also works. And she told me that the car she was driving actually, for now she bought it because of her son. So for that one, she won't give it out except to buy two more cars, maybe before the year runs up. That's what she told me. So after COVID-19, I received a call from her that was uh, in July 2020, that she will want to give this car out. She will no longer want to buy these other two cars that she told me about, but she want to give this car in case if I see someone. I said, okay, I'll look out for somebody. She, uh, after two days again, she called me again, and she asked me if I still want to, if I've gotten a car for the higher purchase, because I told her that the one I was driving was a remitter which is meant for the weekly payment. The car can still be, belong to the owner. But for higher purchase, I'm meant to drive it and own it after the period covered. So she now asked me that, how far with the higher purchase? Am I still interested in, interested in it? I told her, yes. I said, like, come and take this one, which I told her I'll be coming. So the day I went there, I went with my mechanic to go and inspect the car. So everything was checked out. All right, what I noticed that the car was, rusted under, which I complained to the mechanic. The mechanic told me that Panabida can do the work as long as the engine is still fine, which I agreed. We discussed the amount. She told me that she bought the car at 1.8. The amount she was giving for higher purchase, uh, she got one point, she got 3.3, .3, which I told her, no, this particular time, the price is not up to that. Even the good car that they just bought in new too, it's not up to that amount. So we bargained the price and we end up agreeing on 2.9 million naira. Uh, 2.9 million naira. That's your agreement. Naira. So for the coming to the agreement, we make the agreement. We signed the agreement. That was November. That's the same 2020. But before the agreement, I started working. I pay, make payment of three, uh, uh, three times before the agreement. The, the, final, the lawyer finally did the agreement for us. After doing the agreement. How much were you paying each time? That year for that 2020. 
the cost you of... You said you paid three times. Which Okay. Month? It was 2020 Tanner. Okay, for the three months. Yes, but she refused that. Since we didn't sign the agreement before then, she would. She didn't take the money from you. I, I do, do pay her through transfer. Okay, so she complained that you should tidy up the agreement, or what do you mean? Or no. did she refund it? What back? I'm trying to say is, before we signed the agreement, mm -hmm. I already started work and started making payment to her. Yes, that's what I'm saying. That how many months? Just three weeks. Three weeks. Mm. Oh, we're paying on weekly basis. Yes, weekly okay. basis. So, so you had paid 60,000 naira at yes, that time? Yes, so after when the agreement came, she said no, she won't include this, the money inside. And apart from that trip, I also worked one week. Who she give me? Because the day I took the car from her, the battery shut down and I have to buy a new battery. Because I, was, I have to hire a battery and I was working with that battery. So one week was made for the battery, which we both agreed on. So with the battery, that 20,000 for the battery and the 60,000 naira. She said, no, she can't include none of them. So since the agreement is now, we have to start from that November, which I agreed and we continued. So, but the reason why I'm here is that this same car, so she was meant to provide comprehensive insurance for me. She did not. She was supposed to. Comprehensive insurance for me that would cover the car. I saw you say now. She told me that she didn't have money. That I should do. That's in your clause five, Roman figure three. Yes. And the owner shall pay all the premium payable to the insurance company. That's it. Continue. And for the number one of it, too, she was meant to be the one doing the renewal of the papers until I make the payment finish. But in that aspect, too, she failed to do it. That's five one, five Roman figure one. To ensure all car document renewals in respect of the current motor vehicle are renewed as at when due without delays, provided that where the owner defaults in complying with this clause, the IRA shall be relieved of the duty of making weekly payments yes. as required under this agreement. Do you know the meaning of that? What you are saying is, where the document is not redu renewed, then the error is relieved. That's you don't have the duty to make weekly payment as required for that period. Yes, ma'am. Okay, go ahead. But in, in my own case, I was still making payment to her. It was just last year, October, whereby last month, uh, home main, at the Yanaro bus stop. Reason being, it was also the fact that she failed to remind me or maybe tell me that the insurance sent a message to her about the insurance because all the information, the line, it is her that, is, that registered the car. So they sent her a message. So in regards to that, the app logged me off, which I didn't work for like four weeks. So I went to go and do the inspection. You had an accident. No, like there's we use both app and Uber app. Okay. So uh expression whereby your document is expired, they will log it up. Okay. Out of the app. You won't have access to use the app anymore. The plaintiff, Stephen Loshimbe, and the defendant, Momo Halima, became acquainted after their cars collided in an accident. Stephen ended up buying Halima's car on higher purchase for Uber services. He claims that due to an accident, he could not meet his payment obligation when the car was undergoing repair. Halima repossessed the car and resold it to someone else, despite Stephen having paid a substantial part of the 2.9 million naira agreed for the price of the Toyota Corolla car. Halima claims that her action was guided by the higher purchase agreement. Judge Fumi wades into this matter. The cruise of the matter right now is mine. She has taken possession of the vehicle. Yes, ma'am. Because you claim that at one point in time you had an accident with the car. They, you were not working for some time. You had to raise money to do the repairs. You said you spent about 700,000 naira. Yeah, close to 700,000. naira. And eventually, um, you took the vehicle to her. She wanted to inspect. That's what you said there. He, that is what... Yes, he wanted to inspect and took it down to her and 
um, she decided to take possession. She now gave you a time frame to pay up. You did not. Um, that's what she wrote to. I'm telling you your case. And by the time you got somebody to give you the money to buy it, you claim that she told you she has sold off the, the car, right? Yes, ma'am. Okay. Let me have your response to that. You still talk. Let her respond to it. According to how we know each other, if I should start explaining, it will take much time. I bought this car when I was learning how to drive car with uh, the same Toyota Corolla. So from then on, we exchanged number to repair his car. That is how we got to know each other. So after a few weeks or months, and now like I want to give out the, the car. So which he came and said he wants it on a higher process because he, the one he's using is uh, the weekly delivery. That's okay. If that is the case, I will take it on a higher process, which we all agree. The first, uh, when he took the car, I told him if he can leave the car till the agreement is well done before he can take the car. He said no, that the, since we're not... Where the agreement is not on ground yet, that he will go with the car and uh, test run it. So I now told him that, okay, since you are test running it, the weekly delivery, which Uber are doing on a, rem on a remita basics, is 20,000 naira. Be doing that for now until the agreement is well uh, signed. So those are the weeks, the three weeks he's claiming he has been remitting outside the agreement. So when we, we, uh, the agreement was done, that we signed the agreement, the higher process agreement started. So on the higher process agreement, I told him that, okay, this higher process, you are the one to repair the car. On that amount we agree, which is 2.9, you will be the one to repair the car. And on no, although on the on the normal ground, higher process need to drop either uh, forty or whatever percent before taking the car, which he did not do. No, you did not request for so, it. So I request your, for it. He said your, I request for it. You, he said he didn't. He didn't have. Look, let me look at it. You see, I, I you, you don't even go to that at all with me. Okay. You know why? If you were not okay with it. You will not hand over the key to your vehicle. To it. Yes. So only tell me what you are doing. So I don't give you the what the standard was is, the agreement between you. That's what yes. I want. Yes. It was when he was working and remitting. All of a sudden, one uh, one day he came. He said, uh, "I called him. Where are you?" He said, "He has serviced the car to travel out of Lagos with it." I told him, "There, there was no agreement for you to travel out of Lagos with the car. The car is to be drive within Lagos." So from there now, he now said, okay, he wants to travel. He packed, I said, bring the car and pack in my house. He packed in two weeks, travel and come back. After coming back now, he now took the car. So anytime the car has issue of services or, or repairing, he will not deliver. He will use my, the money. That's not your agreement. Because that it, is, it was your agreement, agreement is for you to still be giving them money. Yes, ma That's what so, is written here. So he was. And wait, okay. I'll save you a lot of trouble because I just came across a clause. So you just wait. When you were doing the repair of the of the vehicle, how long did it take you? For the time I had an accident. Yes, when it had an accident, how was, long did it take the mechanic? Was two months. Two months. Yeah, due so, to the fact that I wasn't having much money for the repair. So you didn't make any payment throughout that period? The car was done. I wasn't working. I That's what payment. I'm saying. Because and you see... In the agreement. As much as um, it's possible to look at it from the moral angle that are taking the vehicle back from you is wrong. After you have paid so much money, what you signed here is what she did. Unfortunately, there's nothing you can do. Look at it. Paragraph 8 of your agreement. If the hire shall make default in payment of any weekly sum, 
payable air under for more than three consecutive weeks after the same have become due or shall fail to observe or perform any of the terms and conditions of this agreement, the owner may without prejudice to a claim for arrears or hire or damages, if any, for breach of this agreement, forthwith terminate the hiring without notice and retake physical possession of the said Corolla motor vehicle herself or through her agents or servants or by written notice to the area to determine this agreement and the hiring hereby constituted. On such termination, the IRA shall immediately return the said Corolla motor vehicle to the owner at a place of address for the time being. Okay. My, your Honor. Mm -hmm. I'm listening. There is also. I'm not there's also. Now. Okay, continue. There's also a place where it's written. Mm -hmm. If I fit in default to remit to her mm -hmm. for that same period, mm -hmm. I have to inform her she'll be aware of it, mm -hmm. which give me the grace or the privilege. Grace, privilege, which she waived. What I'm trying to say... Take it to him. Give me that paragraph. Let me read it out to you. Give it to him. Let him show me the paragraph. This is uh, default under number eight. Okay, let me have it. And also... That's the one I, I read out. I understand. Uh, That's the portion I, I read out. There's one thing I want to point there. With how reasonable... Yes. Course. What, what is reasonable cause now? He can have an accident. Did and you, that I, accident. You know what? When you do such agreements, you will not. There's what we call addendum. Mm. Your lawyer will not put addendum there. Likely things that could be, then you put unforeseen circumstances, act of God, like, you know, maybe there's fire outbreak. You can include accident there, and everything is you put it there. But what you just agreed on is, in fact, I don't know why you would agree that, because you did not even put any clause there. What you ought to have done is, if you have paid up to a particular percentage, I'm just teaching you this because of next time. If you paid, because you know how much you have paid now. Maybe you would have agreed that by the time you have paid up to half of the money, then you look for things that will bind her such that she cannot automatically terminate it. Because you see, when you say without reasonable cause, it is vague. It is vague. What do you identify as that? There was an accident that involved, which she was meant to provide insurance that would cover the accident. That most is, of the Uber cars, you see, most of the Uber on cars, this, this is for you. This, this is one, cover. termination. The on the insurance, that is for her. The insurance will give another Apart car from insurance, on the, the keep quiet. When I'm talking, you keep quiet. Just keep quiet. On the insurance, that is for her. Let me tell you where the problem is. It's the foundation that you had is. If you both agreed on certain terms and it's written here, and a party has not complied with it, why will you let the agreement take off? You got there, you saw the documents. At the time you took the vehicle, was there a comprehensive insurance as you agreed there? there? She promised that she, as she was going to issue it, as she start work, she's going to What issue time it. frame did he give you? She did not give me a time, but she said, okay, the money she have, she uses so for something. So if she did why not... she would do it? You, you don't understand that. You, you have to, because you should have been specific. Because so ordinarily what ought to, to happen is, if I were in your shoe, I would tell her, I cannot take the vehicle because I would have envisaged all this. We agreed these are the things that should be provided. Until all these things are provided, then I cannot start. But you waived it. You waived it. You agreed. Now you went, there's no comprehensive, you started working and you are paying. If, if you had waited, because she wants to make money as well, she was eager to make money, 
She will look for money and put it in place for you. Because you would have maintained your ground. That no, there is no way. And for those period that you have in the agreement, that she has to renew the document and she has not, and it's clearly written here that you are not supposed to pay her. Why did you pay her? You are the one waving all the terms in your agreement. You were the one. And now it comes to her turn, she decided not to waive her own. What other stuff do you have? The document, the repairs and the pictures of everything. Because she claims she requested for you to take me there. To take her there. Which she refused. She said you did not. She said she requested for you. There are three things about that period. On the, on the normal ground, inspection day, he doesn't bring car Yes, for that's inspection. part of it, that you agree that at least once a month. Is that not once what you Once a month. That you never Anytime complied I with that. I complained to bring, he would say there is traffic at Ikorodu. But there was traffic because, before he came to, to take the car. Okay. So she has her own point Your Honor, there too. Your Honor, let me answer to that. Mm. Let me have the document you are relying on while you are talking. Um, Ma? Continue talking. Okay. Yeah. So anytime I That's come the, to, I ask him, yeah. he will say there is traffic at Ikorodu. Yeah, so he deny me of my uh, pro, uh, car. He doesn't bring car for inspection. If I, if I ask, he say he will bring it to my office, which is not my office that he took the car from. So we continue on that till on the on, on that April that he called me after after I might have called that, called him that he didn't deliver for that month because that week then he he now came and said that uh, the car has accident the following day so I said okay tow the car to Ikorodu which we were communicating he didn't want to tow the car to my place for me to see my car till that that day. He said, uh, okay, he wants to start work now. And I said he should bring the car before starting work. Look, and when come and give it to you. Show me the one that indicates where the accident of is. My I'm just seeing pictures property. of painted pictures. How can you bring all this to uh, well, How do you prove with after this? After repairing the car. I know after repair. Let me show the damage. Yeah, let's see the damage. Yeah. Give it to him. They are changing tires there. I want the... Let's see. Have you seen these pictures before? I've not seen anything. And you didn't even show her the So pictures. after calculating everything oh, now, I, because me, I still want to settle with him. After calculating everything, the amount he paid, I said, okay, because of all this story that he's giving me every time, he's giving me a dick. You should... You gave him option to come and buy. He should come I and take it. the car I said, and pay me. Just unfortunately he said he doesn't time, have he the money. He the money. You are so, already sold. He doesn't have the money. When I even I, I keep everything. it for almost two yeah. to three months, yeah. is this even the one you are waiting for, for him to bring. Yeah. It was after after is I sold the car that I said for? yeah I should communicate with yes. somebody I'm to give him money, to. which I, I have you. sold the car already. Show them to her, please. So, so the accident, accident actually occurred. Oh, okay. okay. This this is even the one. This is the best out of all. This um, is what I really you should. know. What I would like to say about... What According to him, he said this accident happened 11 to 12 midnight. Which In the night. Midnight. Uber, Uber app is 6 to 6, not midnight work. That's no way. He took my car out midnight without... So Uber works in the night. I've taken what Uber. What you don't know? I've taken don't Uber. Know. Ask questions. I've taken Uber around 11 p.m. Well, you don't know something. Uber Ask up. questions. Don't say that. Don't insult anybody here. Do you understand me? Don't insult anybody. My lord. Order. What I want to say is. I didn't say the, all these ones. According to her, she say I did not have seen the car why I was meant to bring in the car. This is also, just like you see, I, I do wave things. After signing the agreement, she pleaded with me that she have a baby. That you, I will you know what? Let me tell you one thing. If you people just had an oral agreement, I will have issues on whether I should go to the left or go to the right. No, I'm not going out of place. I'm talking about myself. I said if it's oral agreement you had and it's not documented, you know what oral agreement is? If you just agree by mouth, you didn't put it down in I'm writing. Aware of that. Okay. If that is what you had, I'll be waiting for your stories, you know, because I'll be trying to balance it and see whether somebody is lying or not. But in this instance, is documented and you know what is stated there there are things there are precondition 
they are preconditioned to the start off of the agreement. It's written there. You see what you have is precondition, things to be done for the agreement to be able to be binding and take place. Then you have the section of where anything goes wrong in the course of your contract while it's on. If anything goes wrong, then there are things to be done. Then you now have what the ways and manner in which it can come to an end. No, for now, for the start off, I don't know. I don't know. Because you are just, it's just negligence on your part. There is no way you ought to have started without comprehensive, because it's high risk, Uber, permanently on the road. It's not as if you're just going to walk, you pack it, then when you close in the evening, you move the car. It's like anybody can call you anytime and you just keep on moving. So it's very, very essential for there to be an insurance on the vehicle. And because you saw it that way, but you took it, you waved it. That is my problem. You waved it, you knew. Of course, first thing you check the you check all the papers, it's not there. You tell her it's not done. Okay, you want to do within so 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 period. When is ready? Because I can pick it from your house even before I get to my house. There can be an accident. Is that not true? It's true. So it's a risk. It's a high risk. It's a risk you, you saw. You saw it there. And she assured it's me. A, she assured you. Supposing that very day when you took it from her house and while you were on your way, that was when this accident happened. What would have happened? Do you understand? It's just because... It happened later. It could have been that very day. It could have been on our own streets before you even go far. But she, she shouldn't be the same person while she failed on her own part. She's not claiming right over the vehicle after making a huge payment over it's the vehicle. It's what you signed for. That is the problem. That's what I, the first thing I was trying to point out to you, that there are some things you should have stated there about if you pay up to a particular amount of money, then there's something you wave that she has to comply. You know, not the open power you gave her air. Without notice. That's even, I don't even know why you agree to that. To terminate without notice. Ideally, she should notify you and let you know why she wants to. And you now subject that to mediation first. If you have paid up to a certain amount of money. The plaintiff Stephen Loshimbe was not able to convince the court that he has reasonable cause for action. After the break, Judge Fumi dismisses this matter. Your Honor, can I please? The two of you can speak at the same time. Let him speak first. Okay. okay thank you. In that, in, in that period, this is what happened. I was meant, <laughs> we, we were both calculating the transaction. Is this something outside what you have written here that you want to tell me? No, you just... If it's what that, you have... That if, you give me the time to... You don't understand. If it's what you have written here, mm. there's no need. If it's something that is not written no, here by you... So no, there's no need. I, I can read and write. I've read it. So I that, know that, what that is there. So don't give me a repetition on that. No. That, that time you just give me. Mm -hmm. I bring 700,000 Naira. Do you know what you wrote there? You, you both agreed on complete sum, lump sum. It's in the agreement here. I saw it. You, you did not even... Tell her that she should in your agreement that is the agreement. Is this what you used to tide yourself? That, that, because yeah, you did not even tell her that at the time if he's giving you option to pay, she should allow you to pay by installment. You wrote lump sum once, and you and you now brought part payment to her. This matter is here by struck out. All right. Have you been cheated or have a dispute and want justice? Don't take laws go. into your hands. Log on to www.thejusticecourt.com and submit your case.